as an episode, Bruce Bunny is brilliant. But what I really love about this particular segment of Baby Looney Tunes is that the characters are very similar to their grown-up versions. Because the Baby Looney Tunes are babies and also a lot of them are meant to be opponents, for example, Sylvester and Tweety, they don't necessarily have the same characteristics that their full-size counterparts do. But in this one, Daffy is very, very jealous of Bugs Bunny and tries to sabotage his act, which is something we see quite a lot in full-size Looney Tunes. This is the first segment of the 13th episode of the first season, and Bugs is putting on a performance, everything's going great, the other babies are laughing, Daffy is jealous, so he decides to do what he can to make other people laugh, not just to find him funny, but to also get back at Bugs for making him jealous, even though obviously Bugs didn't do it on purpose. And Daffy comes up with a rhyme, and the rhyme plays on the fact that Bugs Bunny's name is Bugs, and it's Bugs Eats Bugs, and I have to say, it's horrible, but it's really catchy. The rhyme will stick with you for a long time afterwards. And... Bugs changes his name twice. The first one is Bruce, it's in the title. The second one I won't give it away, but I will say he actually kind of suits both names. <laughs> I wondered what it would be like to think of him as Bruce and the other name, but actually it kind of worked. But Bugs is still being picked on and Daffy is a nasty little what's it. Like, he finds so many horrible things to make fun of Bugs with. Once he's done making fun of his name, he starts on Bugs' appearance. He makes fun of Bugs' big ears, his pink nose, uh, his fluffy tail, all of these really, you know, charming qualities. But Bugs begins to develop these insecurities. And while the other babies were initially laughing along with Daffy, they begin to realise that maybe that wasn't the right thing to do. And Bugs has to learn that, well, he actually learns for himself that Daffy Duck will make fun of him no matter what. So he might as well just be himself. And I think that that's such a lovely message. But it's also very true. Bullies are horrible, nasty people. And they may make fun of you for something. But if you rectify that something, chances are they'll just find something else to bother you about, to pick on you for. So if it's something that doesn't actually bother you, let them get on with it. I know it's easier said than done, and Bugs certainly couldn't just let Daffy get on with it to begin with, but ultimately he, he was able to realise that Daffy will always find something to tease him about or make fun of him for. And if Bugs previously wasn't insecure about his name or his ears, then why should he let Daffy get to him now? Obviously, it's a great message. Daffy also gets to learn that what he did really wasn't that nice. So there are messages in there for bullies as well. I'd like to think that a bullying child would watch this, realise the error of their ways by watching how things unfold for Daffy and change their behaviour. Maybe it happened. Who knows? I hope so. Also, Taz was absolutely adorable. Taz would just shout bunny at random intervals and it was the cutest thing ever. And also helped provide some comic relief as well because it was quite uncomfortable to watch Daffy picking on Bugs Bunny. It, it really was. Um, but Taz, Taz really helped to break things up a bit. Really enjoyed the dynamic between Bugs and Daffy because it definitely spoke to the full-size Looney Tunes, where we often see cartoons quite similar to this one, but usually with a very different outcome. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought Bruce Bunny was rather brilliant.